Hi guys, welcome to My Living Legacy. In this episode, we are going to do a little preview of the Agent 2021 conference coming up this week. When you're seeing this video, it's actually happening today. It's happening Thursday, January 17th. Also is my birthday, by the way. Just wanted to throw that out there in case anyone wants to send me some, I don't know, shoes or something like that. Um, but I think the best way we can possibly preview this event is by showing you the recap of the event last year. So I went to this event, it was the first Gary Vaynerchuk Vayner Experience um, event that they had thrown. Uh, and it's for specific industries. Insurance, which is the industry I'm in obviously, but also real estate, uh, mortgage, automotive, bringing all these groups together under one roof, tons of different speakers, panels, keynotes, things like that. Uh, just a whole lot of networking. Uh, for me, again, my key when I go to these events is to pull out two, three, four relationships that I can then cultivate over time uh, that are a uh, mutually beneficial relationship long term. And, and that certainly happened last year. A lot of the people that I know today, um, people like Sina Azari, people like Jason Ciano, people um, like Dave Hutch, people um, just so many that I could name um, off the top of my head uh, that have grown into becoming great friends that we met initially at that event last year. Um, this year, particularly excited because we're hosting an after party uh, after the event. We did that last year as well, but it was more just kind of thrown together real fast. It was on the patio of a, of a restaurant and, and a bunch of people showed up. But this year we rented out an entire restaurant down in South Beach. Uh, we've got a DJ, we've got you know, literally rolling out the red carpet, uh, and I cannot wait for you guys to see the recap of what happens at this event. This will come out next week, and uh, it's gonna be incredible. We're also taking a big yacht out on Friday, uh, just making a big, a big, uh, you know, nice couple of days out of it. Uh, nice to get away from, uh, from home and get out into a, uh, um, a new environment, meet some new people, network, connect, build relationships, and all while doing so, film a whole lot of really good content that I think you guys are going to get a lot of value from. So with that, in this episode, we're gonna show you the recap of last year's Agent 2021 conference. I had a ton of fun uh, recording this one, and I think it turned out great. I can't wait for you to see it, some of you for the first time, maybe others uh, to see it again, and you'll take something new from it. So with that, Thank you for watching My Living Legacy. I hope you enjoy. You saw the daily bread. Here's the new recipe. You can expect to see more transparency. 5,006 figure earners is success to me. Giving the best of me, My Living Legacy. This is a special edition episode of The Daily Bread coming at you live from the Agent 2021 event. We are on the parking deck right now at the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel. We've got Agent 2021 going on tomorrow at the Hard Rock Stadium. Gary Vaynerchuk, Andy Frisella, a bunch of other speakers, and me, not speaking, but connecting with people, building some relationships, networking, and learning how to take this social media thing to the whole nother level. Interface. Looks like we might be setting up a, uh, a live podcasting booth. Switch it up on you every now and then with the sock game. And uh, seeing as all that's happening today and what's about to happen, I figured we needed to go with these guys right here. The too blessed to be stressed. Smaller or what? I have been. I actually have been. Unfortunately. The guy's biceps are big. Too, too many uh, faces. Come on, right here, bud. I don't know if you, you remember my aunt, right? Mm -hmm. So Hilo 
you know, Down syndrome. Yeah. I call it Pelos. Yeah, that's awesome. And I know it's like going over obstacles and obstacles. As you can see the picture mm -hmm. I have for my wedding. Yeah. I have Pelo right there. <laughs> that's awesome. Dancing. And it was really cool. I was sit actually sitting in this chair and me and my wife were sitting here and she's sitting right there and we're brainstorming like, what do we call this restaurant? <laughs> and I don't know if you've seen the logo. It's a Katrina. Yeah. And it's Pelos. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, what do I like love? you know, more than like obviously my parents and yeah, my wife yeah. and hopefully one day my kids. Yeah. And I looked up and you can see in the picture, <laughs> you see the Katrina in the background? Yep. Right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, and that's, I, cool. so I was like, that's it. So I got the, awesome. I was from this chair, just that's where it all came from. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, please sit. Simple supply and demand. I play no other game. Supply and demand of your attention, period, end of story. So what does this all mean? Here's how I think this plays out. I genuinely believe that 80%, and that includes people that are more shy and scared to be on camera and are introverted, I believe that 80% of this audience over the next half decade is gonna start debating having a D-Rock and an Iris and a Babin. I think all of you over the next decade will realize that you are in the media business. That before that you are any kind of agent, you are actually a show. The, literally the biggest thing that's holding back the far majority of this room from going to a completely different level, financially and happy wise, is the fact that every year they're just taking home too much of the money they made and they're buying cars and vacations and homes and fucking bullshit jewelry. If you actually took half the money that you took home last year, whatever you did, think about your business, think about what you took, right? Which for a lot of people here is what you made. If you took half of that and you put that into Facebook and Instagram ads and two people helping you make content full time, you would make three times the money you're gonna make this year and in one year you would have returned back the investment. So this is a call to action for everybody to do me one favor and I do think I can get a lot of you to do it which excites the shit out of me. Please, right now, listen, maybe you've laid out money, maybe you're in the middle of a renovation, maybe you're pay paying for your kid's college, mazel tov, I know there's nuances on everybody's life. But if you were in a position where literally your take home income this year is literally the stuff you're gonna go and do things with, please, from 25% to 90% if you can go humble, please take that money and hire two people to make a lot more content for you about you and your business and please give the rest of the money to Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and I fundamentally promise you, you will walk here to this conference next year and personally thank me emotionally because your business will change and I know not one of you has gone all in for all the Carlos and Sebastian and a bunch of personalities here for Mitch. Like, I'm watching what you guys are doing and what I'm telling you right now is very, very, very serious. I believe that every single person at this conference, even though they're 201, 301, or 401 in advancements, are not going anywhere close to enough because I think I'm the best of the bunch and I just told you I'm spending one-tenth of the amount of ad money that I should be spending on Instagram. I'm sitting up here being selfish. I'm just trying to convince myself to drop a fucking hundred racks on fucking Instagram. <laughs> I'm, you just are listening to me convincing myself to fucking do the right thing. <laughs> My friends, this is the greatest era to be an entrepreneur in the history of the human race. The infrastructure costs are zero. Please. Get over the audacity or the narcissistic nature of having somebody film you or you filming yourself. I understand. I am very comfortable in my own skin. It was hard for me two years ago to say, I'm gonna have a man follow me around with a camera. It felt like literally the douchiest thing that I'd ever come up with. But it has been the biggest impact on my career and it hasn't even started and I know that it can change yours. You gotta be active at building the business and how big you wanna build is up to you. I actually wanna give a shout too, man, to my boy Tyler Harris right here. I know he's away te texting, man. Motivation Peaks right here is out here, but.
brother? Yeah. Good. Good. How's the event going? It's actually really good. Yeah? Yeah, really good. Cool. You're hot in that thing? I am now. Fucking asshole. <laughs> We've been inside in the AC. Yeah. What's up, man? How are you? How are you? It's good to good see you, see you too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How are you? Very good. Yeah. Man. I'm excited to hear you bring it. E to I equals E. And what does that mean? That means that when you make a post, it's got to do one of three things. It's got to educate, it's got to entertain, or it's got to impact. All right? That equals engagement. You guys are, like I said, at the pinnacle of people who want to learn how to build a brand and get ahead of your competitors. That's why you're here. That's why you got on a plane and came here to this event. Use these tools to get ahead. Stop doing the same old shit. Educate, entertain, impact. You might be able to disguise your social posts as something that's natural, as something that's organic, but it needs to be thought out and it needs to fit in those three categories. If it doesn't, you lose attention. And most people, every other post is something that doesn't fit into those things. The biggest thing here that I want you guys to understand is that who you are and what you like and the things that you identify with and the things that get you fired up, there's millions of other people that identify with that. You're playing 50% of the crowd here, not 100% of the crowd. Pandering to both sides will keep you in the middle. And guys, you have an opportunity to become the, the, the experts, the pinnacles, the authorities in your respective businesses right now. But I'm going to tell you that window's closing, and it's closing fast. It might last for another three or four years. It might last for another six years, but it ain't going to be forever. You're denying yourself something that could be great and industry-changing for thousands and thousands of other people. It all starts with authenticity. Educate, entertain, impact. You do that, and you're going to fucking win. Side note, who's planning to be alive in 20 years? Give me a, just say I if you are. Okay, I need like a, like a full I, not a half-ass, late in the day, it's muggy, Miami I. I need like an I, give it to me. So you're gonna be alive, right? So I just was at a conference a couple of days ago in Beverly Hills by a guy named Dr. Peter Diamandis. Anybody read Abundance or Bold, anybody? So. We're in this room and we've got five longevity experts talking about the chasm today between those of us that will live to be 125, 150, and those that will traditionally die at 70 and all the reasons why. 20 years goes by that fast. Who knows what I'm talking about? Who has kids that you're aware of, right? 20 years goes by like, here's your baby, now they're driving, and they're gone, and you just had a grandkid. It's like that. So here was the question. It's 20 years from today. How is the world experiencing you? This is my mom. <laughs> yes. We're getting valuable insight into young little TJ. <laughs> Friendship and business, like everyone says, don't mix it. But in my opinion, like you have to mix it. Because if you're going to go far, you have to be locked tight. We have a set mission, vision, and values. And if you're loyal to those mission, vision, and values, and I'm loyal to those mission, vision, and values, then we are in parallel, and then thus we're loyal to one another. Um, I've got two podcasts now. Just hired him a month ago. So we've got a daily vlog that we're doing called The Daily Bread. And we're doing a 24-hour turnaround, just me and him. But day one, what I said was... We, for, me and D-Rock did it for 18 months. Exactly. So for five years, I said, I'm not going to sell anything. I'm not monetizing anything whatsoever. Yeah. Because I wanted I just to just turn that you. switch off. And I have good, good news for you. Five years is going to become your life. Because you're going to realize that's how you do make money. Awesome. I, I wanted it. to see if you would mind recording yes. just saying it's time for the daily bread. Yo, what up guys? It's Gary Vee and it's time for the daily bread. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of My Living Legacy. Make sure you stay tuned for next Thursday when we bring you the recap of this year, the 2019 Agent 2021 conference. I cannot wait for you to see it.